Hello, brothers and sisters of the Briar. Professor Jeremiah here. It's been a little while since my last video, about three months almost. I'm kind of rediscovering uh, an aromatic, which is one that I've really enjoyed in the past, and I'm not sure why I forgot about it. And that's Sutliff's Cream Brulee. Now, for some of you familiar with Cream Brulee, you're going to think sticky and gooey. But I will tell you, and that it is, it is sticky and gooey. Uh, to load up your pipe, sometimes you feel like you're going to have to wash your hand afterwards. And I will say, because of it being sticky and gooey, I don't worry about uh, trying to tin this in a mason jar where it's going to hold its moisture, because it holds its moisture on its own. And I actually, this is one of the few, but I keep it just in a little uh, old tobacco box. Here you can see cream brulee, and you can see how it's glistening. You can see how sticky and gooey it must be from just how it kind of glistens in the box. And we'll tell you, really, other than this past week, the last time I'd smoked cream brulee is when I was in Paris, France, and uh, I remember sitting uh, in a few cafes. Uh, smoking up the last of the creme brulee that I had at that time in my tobacco pouch uh, while sitting in a Paris cafe smoking creme brulee and eating creme brulee uh, not the tobacco but the actual dessert <clears throat> I will say that creme brulee this is really one of those few aromatics for me that it tastes like it smells. Uh, so if you're looking for something uh, this time of year to be smoking around a group of people uh, that they won't object to your smoke, to the smell of it, I would say creme brulee is something to go with. Uh, I know um, I'm, I'm kind of a cross the board smoker. So I smoke English and, and Orientals and, and aromatics as well. And I pretty much just bounce back and forth all throughout the day. Uh, I was smoking uh, some Pelican earlier, and so now I'm smoking a heavy aromatic. So I'll just kind of bounce back and forth. <clears throat> but, you know, when you're around a group of people, at this time of year especially, um, you really need to be smoking something not just as much for yourself, but as much for those around you. And a lot of times an English blend just will not cut it. Uh, groups of people just don't like English blends. Uh, so I would say, though oftentimes I feel like I smoke an English for myself and I smoke an aromatic for those around me, I still want to smoke an aromatic that's an aromatic that I'm going to enjoy. I will say this, because of the moisture, content that's in the creme brulee. I pack this pipe pretty loose uh, and I don't really mash it down too too heavy. If you do you're gonna have to keep lighting and lighting and lighting. Now I've been able to talk and keep this one going but that's only by just putting my finger Oh, the top of the bowl and kind of dampening, uh, restricting the amount of air. But this creme brulee, you're going to get that black Cavendish. Uh, so you're going to get a real kind of black Cavendish taste to it. it does have a little burly in it. it, has a little Virginia in it. Um, uh, I can taste after I've smoked it for a while. You get a caramel, uh, caramelly type flavor. Uh, you get the vanilla flavor. I'll say raw honey flavor to it as well. So kind of a raw honey flavor. I 
Smoked all the way from Dallas. Well, That's what you're going to taste, and it's what the people around you are going to smell. They're going to think that you, you're cooking cookies. Uh, it's, it's, it's got a nice flavor to it. So, If you're a person that you like custards, this might be the, the tobacco for you. I, I'd really just kind of let, let it get out of my mind and forget about it. For those of you who... Uh, have watched my channel and seen many of my other videos you'll know that really among aromatics my go-to blend uh, is country estate and Sutliff doesn't make country estate anymore as far as I know but they do make a black cordial or also known as Z150 which uh, from a reliable source I've been told that that's the same thing and I can say from doing a comparison sprinkling a little bit of each out on a piece of paper I see very little difference the only difference I see really is the color of the Virginia's and that's uh, the golden Virginia of it uh, being darker in the tinned version versus the bulk um, and that still I'll say is still at the top of my list among aromatics but I would say these days that um, creme brulee if you don't mind the stickiness of it uh, if and and it'll probably gum up your pipe. I, I, this is really the only pipe that I've smoked it in, and I believe I've introduced this pipe on here a couple of times before. This is an old Kamoi, which I have it. An excellent smoker, has a good draw on it. Very old though. Uh, you can feel ridges in the pipe, which I believe I've pointed out on here before. <clears throat> a lot of times this is a car pipe for me. Because it can take a lot of abuse. I mean, there's no, this this pipe's not, uh, it, it can take the knocks. Well, I just wanted to give that quick, this quick update. Uh, you still have a little time for the holidays to buy some creme brulee. No fancy packaging. I, I just buy mine in bulk. Uh, this one actually came from my tobacconist. But, um, you know, you can go online to smoking pipes uh, and buy it from them or you can buy it from the brewery uh, actually uh, this past week uh, uh, Brian Levine uh, interviewed Skip Elliott the owner of the brewery here in Alabama uh, it's located in Homewood Alabama it's in an old uh, farm house hopefully sometime I'll take you there and let you see the old farmhouse we have a pipe club meeting every second Monday of the month you should come and check it out um, and there's no minutes or anything it's just a group of guys sitting around smoking and sharing blends and sharing stories and just um, just having a good time so uh, feel free to come by for uh, second Monday of each month and so uh, we'll be meeting this coming Monday but uh, anyway just wanted to introduce you to this blend if you're not familiar with it and if you are familiar with it as I've been uh, but haven't smoked it in a while I say give it a try bring it bring it back out and uh, especially during this holiday season uh, give it a try don't don't worry about it being kind of gooey uh, find a pipe that you don't mind it being gooey in and stuff it in there and go but as I say don't overpack it uh, this is one to be packed light uh, or you can let it dry out but I would say I think it's so gooey it's going to take a while for it to dry out. Well, I don't want to make this any longer uh, than it already is, but uh, uh, and, and I realize this is just a big plug for a cream brulee, but I would say give it a try. Yeah, Professor Jeremiah, God bless.